And very recently, I've been getting a leading towards her. Very strong. And I'm convinced within me that God will use this leading to bring solutions to her kid. What is wrong with you this afternoon, Morenike? Mm. Why are you behaving as if uh, you are living in an alternate reality? Yeah, just it. Okay, good to know. Um, do you have any concerns you would love to share with me? I'm lonely. Very lonely. My dad tries, but it's my dad, not my wife. But she wouldn't speak to me. From the moment I set my eyes on you, an overwhelming feeling came over me. And I also noticed how you looked at me during the inspection. I think you're the wife I've waited for all my life. What? Am I dreaming? Well, the young lady said um, she'll make her decision known when she's ready. Uh, so we have to wait for her. Or do you want to push her? No, no. I just... I just miss my wife. Is it your wife that you miss? Or sex? Dad. Son. Wow. That's serious. Uh, peace unto this house. <laughs> Pastor. This is such a surprise. <laughs> Indeed it is, sir. Uh, uh, <laughs> Thank good you, Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Sir. Good to uh, see you. Mommy, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. It's an impromptu visit. It had to be this way. No, 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 no problem. No problem. Please, please take your seat. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, sir, um, what would you like to take? Oh, I I'm okay for now. No, 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 sir. You can't come in and say you are okay. Let me give you something, sir. Uh, I'm okay for now. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Good to see you. Uh, Pastor, I hope there's no problem. Oh, no, not at all. Uh, I'm only here to see Sister Morenike. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, Dickens? Mm. Uh, Dickens? Yes, sir. Uh, would you mind if I spend uh, a few moments alone with her? Yeah, of course. Of course. Honey. Yes. Uh, let's, let's excuse them. Let's go. Okay, sir. Thank, Thank, you, so Thank you so much, man. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Sister Morenike, daughter of Zion, talk to me. What is happening? Sir. I don't even know anymore. I'm confused. I'm sure God will give you clarity very soon. I'm so sure of that. You see, I could have asked you to come down to me. But I feel led to do this. So, uh, have you spoken with David recently? I cannot bring myself to talk to him, sir. This car is still as fresh as when it happened. I understand. I understand. Uh, there is something I want to show to you. Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and uh, need not on your own understanding in all your ways. In all your ways. Who is this man? And it's going to uh, that is Pastor Wright. In all your ways. He's a revered uh, man of God that, is, that has a call into marriage and relationship God ministry. Mm. I'm sure it will be of great benefit if you listen to his messages and probably following up online. So we are, we are, we are talking to I believe God will bless you via it. God can help them. Amen. Pastor Wright. To know the will of God in marriage, you must.
must know that God and believe in Him, as in Uh, the solution is right before your eyes. I've been heard from both of you, and then with my experience, it appears that uh, there is a communication gap. How well do you understand each other's uh, love language? Love language? Yes, Simon. What is my love language? Uh, uh, Dr. Simon, are you familiar with the concept of uh, love language? Yes, Pastor. Pay with due respect. What has love language got to do with the fact that my wife has a bad mouth? Uh, sir, please just, just answer the question first. Okay, sir. I do buy expensive clothing, jewelry for her. Anytime I have the opportunity to travel, because I know she likes fine, fine things. Uh, is this true, madam? Yes, sir. But there is more to love than buying fine things. Ah, what else is there? Uh, madam uh, Loretta. Yes, sir. How do you want your husband to express love to you? Thank you very much, Pastor, for that beautiful question. I'm someone who loves to talk a lot. I find joy in engaging in small talks. I'm battling with my loved ones. So imagine having a husband who in five years still hasn't figured out the fact that I want him around me. Loretta, you know I'm a medical doctor. I'm always on call. But despite that, I still make up time for you. No. You spend most of your day at the hospital. And even when you come back home, you are always busy with your laptop or sleeping. Uh, Dr. Simon, uh, uh, I think that uh, as much as your wife uh, appreciates the expensive things you do buy for her, I think uh, quality time is what she desires the most. Sir, I cannot always be at home with her. I have lives to save. Besides, it is this same medical profession that pays the bills of the expensive things I buy for her. Hmm. Uh, I understand you. But the Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 that there is time for everything. Okay? Uh, you have time to be at work. You also need to create time to be with your spouse. Uh, so if you want this situation to get better, uh, uh, I will really advise you that you create quality time for each other. Okay, sir. I will try. Uh, good. Uh, so, Sister Loretta, yes, sir. let me ask you. How do you think your husband we want to be loved? Is it not clear? He wants to be left alone. Loretta, ah, you know that that is not true. Sir, I like to be told good things. Thank you. Well done. Each time I do anything for her. So, you, you don't say thank you to your husband, Sister Loretta? I do. Sometimes. On very rare occasions. But you know I appreciate everything you do now. Yes. But I still want you to say it. It encourages me. Saying it will not kill you. Hmm. Okay. Now, I think... Uh, I can now establish that uh, uh, Dr. Simon's love language is a word of affirmation. And this is what you will have taken care of, assuming you both are intimate. Uh -huh. Pastor, this intimacy issue is the main reason why we are here. 
I love the main dish, but Loretta doesn't give it to me. What is the main dish? Pastor, I'm a man. You know that great thing that happens between a man and a woman. <laughs> you mean between a husband and a wife? Yes, sir. Sex? Yes, sir. Sex. That is my food as a man. And medically, it is advisable that a man should get it very well. But my wife doesn't like it because she has been withholding it from me. Mm, I beg. I think this is where I'm going to say it. Who told you you love sex more than I do? I'm the only one who knows the reason why I closed the shop. And please don't just say what you don't know. No, please. Closing the shop to your spouse is never the solution to a disagreement. Why? I'm sorry, sir. But I had to do this. Sex is also like food to me. Unlike my husband, I want the appetizer, the main dish, the dessert, and everything in between. But my husband doesn't know how to make love. He only satisfies himself, leaving me hanging every time. I bought this for three years. And after I gave birth to my last child, I decided to shut up the shop. Hmm. Because what's the point? Pastor, can you hear what she's saying? Can you hear what my wife is saying? Is that what the Bible teaches us? Can you hear the dirty things coming out of out of our mouth? Ah, and you call yourself an usher in the church. Ah, Loretta. Uh, Brother Simon, please let us desist from uh, raising our voices and escalating the matter. Okay? Uh, by God's grace, by God's grace, we shall receive clarity. Amen. Uh, but uh, doctor, I must be sincere with you. Your wife has just told you the cross of the matter. Uh, and it appears you are not listening to her. You see, in a matter of husband and wife like this, the role of a pastor is just to guide and offer advice along the road that leads to solution. It's not to offer you the solution. Hmm? Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to excuse you in a few minutes. I want both of you to talk on your differences. And I'll be back. Have anyone but you. You know I love you. Please look at me. Eh, my dear. What is the problem? I already said it. I need more from you when we make love. You don't just satisfy yourself. I need to be satisfied too. But how? Why? Am I not? That's true. Good. As the only love of your life, when we get physically intimate, I want you to be able to take care of me before, during, and after making love with me. 
people just satisfy yourself and sleep off like as if um a mere object of pleasure if you don't satisfy me the way i want who will my dear now i understand what you are saying but it's because of this small matter that you are denying me hey, did you hear you say little matter it's like you don't you don't understand how that helps me as a woman i see why didn't you tell me in all this while i tried to tell you but you wouldn't listen you hardly have time for me and the children i would have loved to stay with you most of the time but you always say nasty things but you know that is how I always talk now. But my dear, that's not good enough. I am human. I also have feelings. Saying thank you, well done to me, we encourage me. Eh? Instead of the frequent outbursts and criticisms. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Very sorry. Well, concerning this other matter, what do you think we should do? Um... Salut. Ça, ok. Ah, ah. Regardez vite. Salut. Ah, good morning. <laughs> yeah, good morning. It's been a while. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Um, is my wife home? Ah, and Zimu, <laughs> she went out. Okay. Uh, but why, why did she go out this early? Uh, with the way she was dressed, it seems she went to work. Oh, okay. I leave must be over then. It's up here soon. All right. Uh, thank All right. you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, take care. Eh? All, right. All right. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> mm. I can see that you both are happy. Oh, thank, thank you, sir. sir. That's a good sign. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so Thank much, you. sir. We are very, very grateful. She has told me everything. If we had talked before this time, the issue would have been resolved. Mm, praise God. That was what I said. I am happy that uh, both of you have found a lasting solution to the problem. Thank you, sir. May your fountain be blessed. Mm. And then may you be satisfied with the wife of your youth. Amen. Uh, Sister Loretta, yes, sir. you will find what you desire in your husband. Uh, your leaves will build your home. By God's grace, it will never scatter it. In Jesus' name. Uh, then, uh, please, on no circumstance should you withhold sex from your husband. Uh, if you have any issues, try and say to it, you know, as soon as possible, so that Satan does not tempt you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. There's no family without challenges. All you need to do is to open up and talk. Don't forget, communication is very key in marriage. Mm. Let me pray for you. <laughs> I love your smile. I love your smile. <laughs> Let me pray. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus.
But David, so good to see you. Yeah. How have you been? Very fine. I'm fine. Wow, that's good. I mean, how are you doing now? Um, sorry, I don't understand that question. <laughs> Was there something wrong with me before? I mean, you know what I mean. No, I do not. Well, we thank God that um, you are healed and healthy. We thank God for that. Okay, thank God. It's okay. Please, can you extend my greetings to Sister Morenike? Uh. Dude is rich, fearless, and godly. Ah, woman, you can never satisfy them. See, I'm not even going to lie. This guy is really charming, and um, he's rich too. I think you're the wife I've waited for all my life. God, is this the manifestation of the promise? Fine, I'll do it. Hello. Hello. He, he, is this Mr. Jalalabi? Alabi? Yes. Is this who I think it is? For me? Yes, yes. It's it's me. Took you long enough, my wife. What's up? Just for you. Eh? So, let's hear it. What's it about? I called Joel yesterday. Okay. Sis, that guy is very charming. 
Hmm. It looks like he has swept your feet off the ground. Not yet. It was just a phone call. Mm -hmm. We plan to meet in the coming days. Hmm. That's nice. So, have you confirmed if this Prince Chami is born again? Well, Mafe said so. Uh -uh. Is it Mafe that is going to marry him? Look, you need to be sure he is. You need to receive a conviction. Truthfully, I feel nothing. And I didn't hear anything. But all I know is that I am being heavily drawn towards him. I know that feeling. But hope your meeting with him will not affect the company's procurement plan. No. I'll make sure that official discussions are off the agenda. Better. Because you never can tell. I don't think he's like that, though. I'm not saying he's like that. But since you are representing the company, you can never be too careful. You are right. I will be careful. And don't forget to pray too. Yes. Morenika is speaking. Hello, Engineer Mo. Um, please come to my office now. All right, I'll be there, sir. Who was that? Hmm. So, Zoga. He said I should come and see him in his office. So, the Zoga is calling you. What's up? <laughs> There's only one way ah, I can find out. Okay. See you later. All right. Congratulations. What for, sir? Um, when you are away on leave, we want the bid to reconstruct the city hotel. Wow, that is huge. Yes, yes. Um, when we are done, it's going to be the most luxurious building in the city. Wow. And by implication of that, um, it's going to be the most expensive project um, we have executed as a company. Wow, that is huge. And um, what is going to be my role? Exactly. Now, our architects have finalized the design. See. Um, it's quite a complex um, design, as you can see. Yes. Yeah. So um, I'm going to need someone who is quite tested and trusted to spearhead this construction. Okay. That person is you. I don't even know what to say. Thank you very much, sir. Um, I have only one condition. Name it, sir. Now, I need to know if you are in the right mental state of mind to handle such a humongous task. Sir, I am fit, mind, body, and soul. Good, good. Um, I will set up a meeting with the other members of your team later this week. And um, you have 18 months to deliver. Congratulations once again. Thank you very much, yeah. sir. Congratulations, <laughs> Mo. I'm so proud of you. Thank you very much. You know, God is wonderful. I still don't understand why Oga chose me. Uh. Knowing fully well that I'm not being around. You and I know you are one of his favorites. <laughs> he places a huge amount of trust in you. Mm. And to whom much is given, much more is required. I pray I will not let him down. So help me God. Amen. We need to celebrate this win. We will. I'm going to be taking you out after work. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. All right.
Moreno quer. Mo. Moreno quer. Moreno quer, please answer me. What are you doing here? What do you want? Ah. Moreno quer, please, can we talk? No, I'm sorry. We can't talk right now. Meanwhile, you look so unkept. Go and get a haircut. I know, right? We all missed you. I'm just so relieved to see you back and happy. <laughs> I've been now. Thank God. Yes, Hello, Mr. Hi. Hi, Mr. Mike. Thank you for watching today's episode of the Husband and Wife series. But why are you interested in Moza affairs? This is not sister more I'm concerned about. Then who? Oh, open your eyes, sister for me. What we are looking for in Sokoto might actually be in our Sokoto. Thank God. When last were you in church? Church service. <laughs> I, I only do online services for now. Uh, visiting that church space now is a bit complicated. It looks like Everyone knows what I did. No, no, I doubt that. I doubt that. Um, the details are kept, you know, within the confines of those that were there. How close are you to the sisters in the church? Mm. Sir, I'm quite familiar with um, a number of them. Yeah. You know, many times we receive what we desire by faith long before they manifest. It appears as if you might have emerged as a potential life partner for a few sisters in the church. You are like a trophy. Mwenike? <laughs> what? What happened? Are you okay? <sighs>
Where true love is shared Husband 